Boris Johnson has been branded a liar over his Brexit promise that the UK would take back control of its waters, with warnings the UK fishing industry is now on its last legs. The former Prime Minister, who pledged to get Brexit done, had promised to protect the industry before signing a trade deal with the European Union. The fishing agreement states there would be a five-year transition period that would see EU boats continue to gain access to UK waters until 2026. At the time, Mr Johnson admitted some concessions had been made in talks with the EU, but June Mummery, the former MEP for East of England and founder of Renaissance of the East Anglian Fisheries, has launched a furious attack against Mr Johnson, claiming UK fishermen have been stabbed in the back. She told Express.co.uk during an explosive interview, What UK fishing industry? We've completely lost it. The industry is practically gone and is on its last legs. Back in the day, Iceland took back control of their lucrative waters, kicked us out, and would empty let us fish in their waters anymore. Within a fortnight, we were buying fish from them because there were thousands of jobs on the Humber that needed the raw material. Boris Johnson said we would take back control of our waters. That was a bloody lie. UK fishermen have been betrayed and stabbed in the back. Ms Mummery accusing Mr Johnson, despite his insistence to protect the industry, of giving the EU our fishing waters, something he can never deny. The former MEP is also furious there are what she claims are around 1,700 European vessels still fishing in British waters with many even coming as far as the six mile She continued, at the 11th hour, Boris gave the EU our fishing waters. He cannot deny that or get out of that. We are supposed to be taking back control of 200 nautical miles of waters. Foreign boats are only supposed to come up to the 12 mile exclusion zone of British coasts but they are coming all the way up to the six mile exclusion zones. You still have 1,700 EU vessels in our waters and eight of those are super trawlers. Ms Mummery concluded, UK fishermen are skint and on the bones of their backsides. We had the Covid pandemic and the hospitality sector shut down. Who on earth would invest in fishing?